to my channel. I'm Ray from Ray and Rosa. And today we're gonna do a DIY again for you guys. And I'm hosting a luau party and they told me to come up with some decorations for the luau. So, so we're gonna do a total pole for the luau. Um, I have made some already, if you could see right here. I made a small one, but I'm not gonna make a big one. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, so in case you wanna have a luau, get an idea and uh, make your own. It's simple and it's fun. So, let's get started. All right, so right now, I wanna start with the eyes. I want the eyes to be blue. So I'm gonna fold the paper in half, the way you see here, fold it in half, like this. Now we're gonna make the eyes, right out of this um, construction paper, blue construction paper. And we're gonna start with a shape. And the shape that, that I wanna make is like a, a whale shape, shaped like a whale. So I'm gonna cut the round, just like this. It looks like a well, as you can see. It looks like a nice well. And now, we are going to cut the ends. But I still gonna do some triangle cuts. Triangles, as you can see. Triangles, just like this. Just like that. Nice triangle shape. And right there you have. Oh, I forgot. Cut the little corners there and just make it a nice round. Just like that. There you go. So now we have two of them. Isn't that awesome? Two out of one sheet of construction paper. Now we're gonna cut it in half. There we go. Now we have the eyes for the total pole. There we go. Now we set them up. Now we got two set of eyes. There we go. Ain't that awesome. But they're not fully eyes yet until you um, do the eyeball. And that's where the yellow paper comes in. Right here. I'm gonna cut the paper in half. Just like that. Cut it in half. I'm gonna take the other half. I'm gonna fold it up in half. Just like this. Fold it up in half. And now we're gonna do teardrops for the eyes. So we're gonna take it and cut it around. Just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Cut around. Just like that. Isn't that awesome? You just cut the angles around like this. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side. Gotta have a steady hand. Just like this. Now we just flip the middle and you have two of them. These are the eyeballs for the toilet pole. You put one over here, the other one goes over here. There you go. Now, ain't that awesome? If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video so you can get more of a chance to see it better. So far, those are the eyes. Now we're gonna go for the nose. Well, we got black paper. I like to use different type of construction papers 
different colors because it makes it look much more nicer. So I have the black construction paper. Now I'm going to fold it in half, just like this. There we go. Fold it in half. Now we're going to do the nose. We're going like an hourglass. There we go. Just like an hourglass. That's what you have right there. Half of an hourglass. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Take it and do the same thing. Like an hourglass. There we go. Another two more. Go a little more lower in this. Now you have the hourglass. It's gonna be the nose for the totem pole. I always get two in case one messes up. I'll have another one. That's gonna go right there. Right in the middle, between the eyes. So far, that's the nose, the eyeball, and the eyes. So now, we're gonna go for the mouth. Now me, I like my totem pole to look tough, mean, aggressive, so nobody can mess with them. So, I'm gonna give them a smile. I'm gonna give them a mean looking kind of mouth. So you take, and you cut triangles, just like that. Nice triangles along the way. There we go. It's coming out great. Take your time. No need to rush. It's always good to take your time. That's when things come out great. When you can save these for later, it comes in handy. Okay, here we go. Now we have the mouth. Isn't that awesome? Especially when you open it up like that. Here we go. Now we have the mouth to the totem pole. There we go. Nice, mean looking, don't mess with me kind of totem pole. Now we're gonna glue the, uh, the eyeballs. So what I do, I take the glue gun and I put just a little drop there, not a lot, just enough to hold the eyeball. Same thing on this side, not a lot, just enough to hold the eyeball. Now the nose, this one, take a little bit more. You glue it right around the edge, right there, just glue it right on. There we go. Same thing. Put it back and just throw it on there. There you go. Now that this is all glued on, we're gonna do the eyes. A little bit here, hold it down, a little bit here, and hold it down. See, so says you just do it like that because if you move it to glue it, what's gonna happen is that one one will either come out higher than the other, and you don't want that. So you want to make sure it stays in the right spot. Put glue on the bottom. The same thing on this side. There we go. Now we have the tunnel pole, eyes and nose. Now we do the same thing with the mouth. But before we do that, I like to add. Not a separate color to the mouth to make it look even better. So what I do, I put a yellow paper on the bottom to make it look more exciting, more colorful. Just like that. Isn't that awesome? It's looking like a 3D kind of thing. So I'm gonna glue the first piece together. There we go. Don't worry about it if it's like that. Don't worry about it. Don't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. There 
There we go. That is an awesome looking mouth. There we go. Now we do the bow to glue it onto the paper. Same thing over here. There we go. So far the total pole is coming out very, very nicely. Just the way I like. But that's not all. That's only the beginning. Because now we're gonna decorate on the outside. And I'm gonna use a nice color purple, which I seem to like. I like the color purple. There we go. So now we're gonna decorate on the outside. So I'm gonna fold this in half. Fold it in half and fold it again. Once you fold it one half, fold it the second half. There we go. Now we cut triangles. There we go. And those triangles, I'll do it again. And again. And again. And again. There we go. Now we have multi triangle. But you don't need all of them. You just cut it in half. One there, one there, one there, one there, there we go, now we cut the other one, right in the middle, there we go, just like that. Isn't that awesome? And now we have the top right there. So now we're going to glue that piece on. Put it right in the middle. Around the glue. Put it right in the middle. There we go. Now ain't that awesome? There we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing. On the side. I'm gonna run it here. I'm gonna set it. Yep, set it and forget it. There we go. Same thing on this side. I'm going to set it. And forget it. There we go. That is completely awesome. Now we're going to get, we're going to cut this. Get three of them, three shapes. You know, you just get two shapes, it's better. I'm gonna stick it here. Right on top of that one. Right there. There we go. Same thing on the other side. This one might take one. There we go. Let's stick it on this side. Go glue gun on reach more or less. Let me stick it on this side. A little mistake here, but I could fix that. Let me just chip that part off. There we go. It's starting to look very, very good. Now 
triangles that I cut before, these triangles that I cut before earlier when I did the red paper, I'm gonna stick them in different areas. Over there. Over there. We also have nice purple ones. Take them there. These are the pieces that were left over from when I cut the purple paper that we used to just to decorate around the face. And for this piece over here, Gonna use these over here. Another one on this side. Don't have to be lined up. I don't want to like that. I want it to be one up, one down. There we go. How you like this guy so far? Good? See, this is for luau. We want it to come out good. Sometimes you don't want to overdo it. But it's just fine. It's coming out great. If you guys have any ideas or any events that you're hosting, you want know, to come up with ideas on how to decorate, just let me know. And I'll give you ideas on how to do it. Simple as that. Any kind of parties. There we go. And that is totally cool. This is a totem pole. See? There we go. I think that is a good totem pole. It was simple, it wasn't hard. If you like art, if you like cutting papers and whatnot, well, go for it. It's always a good idea to come up with on good idea, things that you like. Have fun with it. It's always fun to come up with good ideas. So this is a tunnel pole. This is for a luau that I am hosting. We had the big one, medium one, and the small one. So they're going to line up right on top of the other. Right now, this is the way this one looks. So if you place it down like that, you can get an idea of how it's supposed to look. So that's the one that I just made. There we go. I'm in the guest room right now. I'm not really here to be a guest, so I'm using it for my little workshop here. And then what I'm gonna do, I place these two on top of this one. And that is the way my tunnel pole is going to look. So there you go. So now you know how to make a total pole. It's simple to do, it's not that hard. Have fun doing it. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, anything that you'd like me to make, hey, just um, leave me a comment. I'd be more than happy to answer it. So for now, thank you so much for joining my channel and um, have fun with me. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and aloha.